おしのこほほほおしのこ takes the cake of being my favorite anime this season and believe me when I say this everyone who watched episode one has the same opinion and it's not for nothing and of course it's not like you know I don't know like um Uh, the number one anime on my anime list, and no, uh, it's not because this baby looks exactly like Flandre from Toho if she was a cute little baby, and it's also not because this baby also looks exactly like Chisato from Liquor's Recoil if she was a cute little baby. To give you a bit more context on why I am right and you are wrong, unless you say I am right, I made a challenge to myself to watch every single anime this season. I'm only allowed to drop titles at episode 1 and episode 3. And currently I have 29 animes in my bookmarks this season. Yes, I have watched everything and I have 29 animes, don't ask me. This challenge started because in recent years I have been really lazy when it comes to checking out new seasonal animes. Other than the super popular ones plus like one or two other animes a season. So with that in mind, After watching every single first episode this season, I have officially declared Oshinoko to be the current best anime this season. First of all, forget all the normal criteria of what makes an anime the best anime. Because we got Giga Chat Studio Doga Kobo, which only makes bangers by the way, right here giving us a whole ass movie as a first episode. It's literally 1 hour and 20 minutes long, and I loved every second of it. I have never felt bored through it, never felt like something was missing, and definitely never left my couch watching it because it was not worth stopping it to go get water. Before watching anything, I was most hyped for the third season of Demon Slayer with a great 50 minutes episode. That was until Oshinoko came in and dropped its massive 80 minutes long schlong on the middle of the table breaking it to never financially recover from the damages and i'm not gonna forget how genius oshinoko handles the whole reincarnation thing in a single 80 minutes episode oshinoko has managed to come very close to being as good as a whole season of moshoku tensei when it comes to linking your past life to your new life Uh, uh, Moshika Tensei is still a tiny bit better for the sole reason that, well, it's Gintoki's fucking voice actor. Except it's fortunately not an Esekai, like uh, Oshinoko. It's not an Esekai. Thank fucking god for that. I have seen so many Esekais this season to the point I forgot how each protagonist even ended up in the other world. I do remember someone saved a girl from a car and then his sister basically committed suicide by ramming her head <laughs> into the wall to follow him. I think. Anyhow, Oshinoko basically follows the philosophy of when you die you get reborn into a newborn child kind of thing. I mean, thank god they didn't end up reborn as ants cause it sucks ass over there. I'm not gonna say any spoilers because believe me you don't wanna ruin the surprises for yourself. Actually do yourself a favor and watch it now. Yes, now. Get out of this video, I already got your view, staying doesn't matter. And go watch the best anime this season. I would do the same if I were you right now. Anyway, I'm not gonna forget the absolutely stunning art of this anime. The character designs are so damn good. The colors, the detail, the animation. It's not your photobol, but the studio did much more than they had to. Oh yeah, also, be aware of a certain clip going viral. Once you witness it, you can never run away from it regardless of you wanting to do so or not. The clip consists of two babies in a concert where they appear to be dancing professionally. <laughs> Come on! 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 Come on!